All right, welcome back to Site Tech and Mountain training videos. This is another video on Trimble Works Manager. In this video, we're going to continue to use a project that I've used for some other videos, this uh, Site Tech Demo 8-9-2023. Right off the bat, I wanted to show you that uh, the icon on the screen here is showing that I've got one device reporting. If you're curious which one that is, click on this device on the screen, and we'll show you that it's my TSE 7. The design is up to date and it reported just a few seconds ago and it also says what design it's currently running. So what I was going to show you is if you want to manage your job sites from Trimble Business Center, if you're a Trimble Business Center user and pretty heavy with that, Works Manager isn't the only place that you can actually manage designs. For example, right here where I showed you in other videos. We can go in and add designs right here and manage what designs are to what machines, what machines are reporting, et cetera, et cetera. But what's going to happen is with the data collector, if they go out and record points, you can go to the device right here and then go to each individual device and you can view the field data right here. So you can have people out in the field record points, record data. And you can download it from here. This one has no current work orders right now. That's what I'm going to show you in this video is how to manage it a little bit between either Business Center or through this uh, option right here with Works Manager. So back to the data collector real quick. If I go ahead and start up a new work order, I'll go ahead and change projects, go to work order here and create a new one. We'll just call this the Topo parking lot maybe we'll put the date 8 14 23 so once i've got that i can turn my design back on if i want just so i see it in the background just wanted to show you how i can go gather a little bit of information and then synchronize back so with this right here let's say we need to take a couple shots in the parking lot i'm going to go to my measure type and i'm going to leave this uh right here and call it a We'll call this existing. I'm going to change it from a surface to a feature. And I'll leave this to no so I can just take some shots. So we'll go ahead and take a couple shots down through this parking lot right here as if it was single points. Just trying to show you a scenario where you would send someone out to gather some information. Um, maybe we'll grab a couple line strings real quick. We'll just call this existing also, and we'll change this to just a line. So let's say we had to go out and start a new line string here. I like line strings when I'm doing topos because it shows me where I've been, where I haven't, kind of a little bit of the connect the dots. It's still the same thing with just single northing eastings and elevation, but kind of helps me understand where I have and haven't been. Okay, so right there, we'll just hit menu and measure to cancel that out. Now I've got some data. So what I'm going to do is go back into my menu here. I'm going to go down to data management where I was dealing earlier with Works Manager Sync and the settings. So in the synchronize right here, you'll notice at the top, you can synchronize the entire project. If there was anything different with the project, you can just do the whole thing. But if I just had a work order that I want to send back, I can change it to work order. I can make sure it's on the correct job site, and then I can change this down to the work order that I want to synchronize. So if I go ahead and synchronize just that, that SPJ file is going to send back to the cloud. We'll give it just a second. Okay. Now that we're done there, what we'll do is come back to the Works Manager, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. Just refresh the, refresh the page, excuse me. And what I'll do now is go back to devices. In devices, I'll go to my TSC7, and I'll come down here to this field data, and I'll go to the view. Now you can see right here that for this work order, I've got a Topo parking lot 81423. That's my work order. I can go ahead and click this button right here, and I can download it. So this is this is one way to manage data from Works Manager solely. If you don't have Business Center or don't like using Business Center or you're doing your CAD work in another program, totally fine. Just trying to show you in this video how to go both ways because now I've got it done on my computer. It zipped it. I can drag and drop it into another program.
But what I wanted to show you is if you want to manage projects from Trimble Business Center, you've got you've got to come here first, or you need to come here first if you want to make sure that the data is all the same in between Works Manager and Trimble Business Center. I like to come in, create the project, name it, make my boundary, but I don't necessarily have to put designs in at that point. What we can do is start up Trimble Business Center, and on your tabs at the top up here, you've got one that's called Construction Data. Along this ribbon and then inside these blocks right here, there's one right here called Works Manager. In here, I can click Project as long as I'm signed in. And what I can do now is retrieve the data through Trimble Business Center from Works Manager and actually import all this information in and deal with the data the same way. Send designs, receive, um, same thing with work orders. Okay, once the account links up through the internet, you can make sure that you're on the right account here, and then you can see that there's a project that it recognizes from Works Manager. Go ahead and hit OK. Once it comes in here, it's going to give us some resolve issues where this actual VCE or this, this Trimble Business Center that opened doesn't have boundaries, calibration, units, all that. We're going to go through the process of importing that in. So right off the bat, you can see all these different things down along the side right here. What I'm going to do is for site calibration, I like to bring my calibration in first. I'm going to resolve that by hitting this red resolve. That's kind of a warning here. And it's asking, do I want to publish to Works Manager or adopt? What I'm going to do is bring in the calibration that I had put in Works Manager to this VCE. So I'm going to adopt that over. I suggest that you don't drag and drop a calibration in here separately if you can because we've had issues in the past where the system has recognized calibrations differently based on like a name or an import option. If it, Even if it's the exact same calibration, it just sometimes we get names that are different and things like that. Once my calibration is in, you can see down here at the bottom it's calibrated. Let's go ahead and resolve the project boundary. So in here, I can adopt that from Works Manager, meaning I'm going to bring in that blue boundary, that one that I had created Works Manager. So we'll go ahead and bring that over. Once that's done, I'm going to come down here to Units, and I'm going to resolve this. I'm going to Publish to Works Manager, and then Control Points. If I have any control points, I can bring that in. I can adopt those from Works Manager. At this point, if I feel like everything is good right there, now what I can do is zoom in on my project right here and you can see the boundary that came in and the actual control points from my project. At this point, I probably will just bring my designs over myself. So I'm gonna go and find those. So now that I brought in that same exact design that you can see here for the project that's in the machine, or the data collector, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my surface. Now right here is where those points were that I recorded with the data collector. So they still reside in Works Manager as downloaded, but if I want to deal with that data from Business Center here, you go back up to that Works Manager tab, and under Projects, you've got Create Design, Design Manager, but there's one right here called Work Order. So if I go into the Work Order, it's going to retrieve the same information from um, Works Manager and we'll be able to view any different devices. So right here on the right side under devices, you can see that it's popping up with the emulator from my data collector. There's the TSC7, and it may bring in my computer here. So there's those three that I have added to the project in Works Manager. What I can do is click on this, and it will actually make sure that it's fresh with anything that that data collector has retrieved. So down here at the bottom, you're going to start seeing that Topo parking lot 81423 that resides for the data collector right there. So if I click on that and go down here to the bottom, I can either view it, report, save it, etc. But I want to do this import option. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in those points. So here you can now see those points that came in right here. We can click on it, properties, existing number seven, um, and there is my line work. So now my data has came over straight from um, Works Manager from the data collector into Business Center here. So there's just an option to be able to deal with it. The next one I was going to show you is let's say I wanted to export a design out of Business Center. I've already shown you how to do that here from um, 
if we go into the designs and works manager I showed you in another video how you can actually assign it here and send it but let's do it from Trimble or yeah Trimble Business Center so I've got a design that um, I've made that's uh, storm drain so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my uh, storm drain this is just a DXF it does not have a surface under it so as you can see we've got the storm drain that came in here I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off what I am gonna turn on is uh, just a little bit of a reference there I'm gonna go ahead and turn on maybe the ponds just so I can have a reference to where that is but there again this is just line work so what I'm gonna do is export this out so at the top here under the works manager tab there's a create design so I can create a design from Business Center and send it out and it will show up so we'll call this the uh, site tech storm oops, storm drain now here for model type we have no surface underneath so I'm not going to change that between um, anything there we'll leave that the same what I am going to do right here is for design map I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus and up here I'm going to go ahead and just highlight everything send it all out so I'm going to add that I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to publish it so this is actually publishing it back to works manager so it pops this up and if we give it just a second it's actually going to create up as a new design inside works manager so we'll go ahead and just close this out and then we will come back here and we'll refresh this page now you can see that I've got my old design an older well other design that I did a while ago so you can see on the date and then the uh, site tech storm drain and right here if you click on it it is published to all devices so let's go back to the data collector now and we will go into the menu and we'll go down to data management and we're going to go down here to works manager sync we'll let it synchronize and retrieve any data that may be there you can come in here and change this to designs if you want to and drop the drop down there and actually see now there's site tech storm drain version one we can go ahead and instantly sync this over to this data collector we can go ahead and say yes to this just so we can go back here and make sure that we're on the correct work order and the correct design go ahead and hit apply or accept and then we'll come to the main screen and view what we've got here there we go so now the site map just included those green berms and the ponds just so that they were in there but this actual line work is elevated line work here so i can go ahead and touch and hold on this and i can stake that line we can go ahead and come out and make sure that i'm on random or on fixed so right now i'm going to stay on random so i have a green trailing edge so i have a true elevate the elevation's off a little bit there the 4188 because i'm using an emulator but it is elevated line work so that's how we send stuff back and forth in between works manager synchronizing work orders and synchronizing designs and i just wanted you to know the difference between using works manager as your platform to do all that or using trimble business center here as your platform with the works manager tab at the top so thank you for watching this video from site tech intermountain on work trimble works manager